Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Abundology Podcast. My name is Renee Spears, and I'm a spirit guide channeler and spiritual life and business mentor, and I help people be happy and attract more money, love, time, and joy in their lives. I'm coming to you from a snowy Bozeman, Montana, and this is the weekly energy update for the week of October 23rd, 2022. Every Sunday, I talk about how the energy is going to be for the week ahead, and I also infuse the show with some positive vibes, so you get a little positive energy boost just for listening. And it's our first snowfall of the season here. We have about three inches, which is a dusting in Montana, and it's still snowing. I'm in my flannel PJs in front of the fire doing a podcast. Life is good. So ready or not, a transformation is coming. And there's nothing to be afraid of. Change is what keeps life exciting. And Scorpio season was made to guide us through it. So today, Sunday, the 23rd, the sun will move into the sign of the scorpion, meaning that Scorpio season is here until November 22nd. So Scorpio season is famously known as a time of transformation and change. It's a sign that's meant for rebirth and reimagining. During Scorpio season, we feel deep emotions. It's not the surface stuff. We're talking about the deep emotions that inspire us to make changes and move forward. So don't be surprised if there are some big, rapid changes in your life over the next few weeks. This time is all about the unseen. It's about our vulnerabilities, our fears, and our innermost psyche. It's a time that asks us to take off the layers of armor that we've built around us and to sit in our vulnerabilities. A time to deeply surrender and trust in what we can't control. And this year, we're going to be feeling this a bit more strongly due to all the stuff going on in the sky over the next month. So we're entering eclipse season this week with a solar eclipse in Scorpio on Tuesday, the 25th. And then we have a full moon lunar eclipse on November 8th. And then Venus and Mercury also move into Scorpio this week. Venus and Scorpio coming together bring intensity to our relationships. And it offers us the potential for deep inner healing deep inner healing. Scorpio isn't here for a superficial connection. It's here to connect only at the deepest level. And then Mercury also joins the sun and Venus and Scorpio. And this is a time when our intuition will be intense and spot on. We're going to know what we need to do. So listen to your intuition now. Trust it. It's amped up to help you make decisions about all the changes happening. And then Saturn and Uranus, two of the most intense planets, will both be activated when the Sun, Venus, and Mercury pass through Scorpio. So Saturn and Uranus have been squaring on and off since the beginning of 2021 and will be pretty active during Scorpio season, creating a massive amount of change in our lives. Also today, Saturn ends his retrograde that began in June. And this closes a chapter that we've been in since early 2020 when COVID started. So as the Saturn retrograde ends, we have a new perspective on life. And this is a fabulous time to just look back and think about how much you have grown in the last two years. So Saturn knows that we learn and we grow best through experience. We see our strength when we're presented with challenges. We come to know and embody our worth when that worth comes into question. So we want to keep that in mind this month. But wait, there's more. Jupiter is on a world point too. So the king of the gods is retrograding back through zero degrees of Aries. And that is the very first degree in the zodiac. And this is bringing change to the entire world. This starts a new chapter when all of us delve deeper into spirituality and compassion. When we search for deeper meanings, especially when it comes to how we want to live our lives, It's a time of spiritual release and renewal. So you're getting the idea with all of the stuff going on in the sky. Our lives are about to change in huge ways. I can't underscore that enough. Huge ways. Scorpio Scorpio is no stranger to change and transformation. But when it's coupled with the eclipses and all the other stuff going on, we're on the brink of sweeping change that can truly reroute the course of our lives. 
So this week's new moon, which is on Tuesday, will also be a solar eclipse in Scorpio. So it isn't just a big deal this week. It's a major theme of October. And it's one of the most influential cosmic happenings this year. So the new moon and the solar eclipse bring a fresh start with a brand new chapter. It speeds up timelines and it delivers fated events. And because it's immersed in the Scorpio energy, it's also about releasing, surrendering, and metaphorical death. So like all things, this eclipse will be both a beginning and an ending. It reminds us that we must first release what we can, what is no longer serving us, which is our fears, the stories we're telling ourselves, our wounds, our patterns. We got to release all that stuff before we can move forward. So this is the time to do some deep soul searching. Look within, like really within, and figure out exactly what you want to transform about your life and yourself. So whether you're ready for it or not, change is coming either way. So we want to use this time to consciously change and prepare ourselves with everything we need to make it happen smoothly, or at least as smoothly as possible. And that starts with, starts with taking some time to get real with yourself. This is not the time to brush over anything. What is the deep down stuff that needs some work? For me, it's relationship stuff. And it's finally time to deeply examine some outdated beliefs so that I can move forward in a relationship. So one of the ways I'm going to do that and keep myself accountable is by leading a group of women that want to do the same thing so that we can attract the one. And this will be a small, intimate group just committed to doing the work with me. And I'll be posting more info about how to sign up for that later this week. So a busy time in our skies means it's a busy time within. So with all this help from the planets, this is our opportunity for a deep renewal of ourselves and of our lives. This is a time to radically let go of everything that is not our deepest truth. Allow yourself to be guided by your intuition. Remember that your intuition is amped up and that bitch is spot on right now. Trust what you feel. Often our intuition doesn't make logical sense. And that's why it's important to trust what you feel is right. Trust that anything that comes forward right now is meant to be. These are fated life changes. And remember, change can be stressful and scary, even if it's a good change. So be easy on yourself. Don't push, push yourself right now. Change also takes energy. So if you're feeling like you don't have energy to do extra things or all the things on your to-do list, yeah, that's probably how you're feeling. So just surrender and go with the flow. Allow change to happen and don't fight it. Just flow with it. And while a new moon lasts for four weeks, the effects of a solar eclipse last nearly six months. So right now, all possibilities are on the table. We want to take advantage of this energy to hit that reset button on your life and make a fresh start. It's a super exciting time. I especially love all the faded stuff that will be happening now. I just love fate. Now, faded events are just inevitable and unavoidable. And such a wonderful reminder that there is a natural order to things. So thank the universe for your faded events showing up and just enjoy the ride. And that's it for the week. No big deal. You know, just our entire lives shifting and upgrading. And it's all so good. And as always, thank you for listening and sharing the podcast with a friend you think may find value in it. Hey, thank my friend Fate when she shows up this month, bringing you everything that your heart desires. And I'll talk to you again next week.